and with that, I welcome you to the latest edition of the A Walk in the Park podcast. Today we're at Indiana Beach, and let's go for a walk in the park. What's up, people? I'm hoping to hear me over the screaming crowd here. Of course, they're screaming for me, because I'm just that often. Anyway, we're here on the uh, right at the corner of the park. You see over here on my left, they got like a water kind of kids splash area that's relatively new to this park. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I've seen it grow over the last couple of years, and that, that actually I thought it, I thought it was going to be crap when they first decided to build it, but now it's a lot nicer. Anyway, this is the new big attraction for 2007. It's a, uh, uh, I guess, a kind of a portable version of the iWorks simulators, and of course they're showing what I consider to be probably one of the cheesiest, corniest simulator movies of all time, and that will be Dino Island 2: Escape from Dino Island. Now, I knew this ride from uh, being at Six Flags Great Adventure so much, and it's the one where you gotta, you've got to save Tony! Tony the dinosaur, you've got to save Tony! Anyway, I think it's just about the cheesiest, probably just about the cheesiest one, but a good fit for this park. I really like the addition, and uh, hopefully they'll keep changing that simulator movie every year or so. Also, that got me to thinking, you people, what do you think is the corniest or cheesiest simulator ever, uh, ever made that you've been on, shoot me an email at patman007, that's P-A-T-M-A-N-007 at AOL.com, or just shoot me in over on AIM at patman007, and I'll read your responses on, uh, I mean, I'll put a little, put on an audio show if I get enough response. Alright, as you can see the chairlift heading down the, uh, the main stretch of boardwalk here at the park. Now again, it's hot as heck today, I mean... I think it's like 93 degrees out, but I'm all done with school now. I just finished up a class yesterday, so I decided to celebrate, go and have a nice day at the park. Of course, one thing about Indiana Beach, I love coming here and playing the, uh, they've got a great collection of games and arcades and that kind of thing, and they're all pretty cheap. I'm just going to take you to this arcade here for, uh, for a minute to show you that they've got one of the creepy old fortune tellers. Okay. Right there. Isn't that creepy? I am making a movie. See, the, the people just go nuts for it. Alright, moving on. They've got some weird theme in here. The park is these Tahitian statues sort of come out of nowhere. But whatever, the more the merry. Got a little mini golf course over here on my left. But I don't think anyone's playing mini golf today because it's so hot out. Alright, moving on. Really, uh, just a fun day out here. Pretty crowded for this park. And when I was over there earlier, one of my favorite rides is that Lost Coaster of uh, Superstition Mountain. And that unfortunately wasn't open, so I'm not too happy about that, but I, I got to go on a lot of other things. Gonna take some more video here. I'll hopefully, uh, Take a video from the chairlift. Maybe I'll take a video on the uh, Den of Lost Thieves dark ride. And um, that's all possibilities. I don't know. I'll see what I'm in the mood for. Anyway, you uh, you might see a lack of updates coming to the show because I'm moving next uh, next week, August the seventh. I'm moving out, and I don't know when I'll get internet again. So if this is the last episode for a while, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, this is probably uh, one of the more interesting parts over here. Actually, wait, before I talk about that, Fascination is awesome. If you've never played it, let me go show you. Uh, it's like a roll-the-ball bingo kind of game. Really, really fun and addictive kind of thing. Take you in here. Take your ball here and roll it up. Play pretty much get a uh, bingo. I played four times today and I won twice, so I had a pretty good day. All right, back outside. All right, here's probably the big news. I didn't know this was happening, but uh, chaos is gone. Uh, it's uh, still got its load platform, but most interesting part probably this sign. Please excuse our mess. Look for something new in 2008. That would be cool. I'm, I'm going to guess there's probably going to be a new flat ride here next year. 
this is where you would board the Den of Lost Thieves shoot 'em up dark ride. That, that's a fun attraction. You're just being a little bit, just being helpful here at the show. Oh, and probably the creepiest part of this park, let me take you over here, the carp pond. Look at this. Get ready, people. Hold on to your seats. Isn't that gross? Look at them all. That is certainly something you will find nowhere else. Completely unique for Indiana Beach is the carp pond. Oh man, it's real hot today. Right, I'm going to take you to the right over here and go past the, uh, they've got an awesome walkthrough haunted house. It's not like a really scary haunted house, but it's very well done. they got some cool animatronics, and uh, if you come into the park, I think it's an extra like $2.50, but it is really something awesome. Uh, don't come here without seeing the Frankenstein's castle, because you would be missing out. Really cool. I, I rode that uh, for the first time the last time I was here, and I was really blown away with how how real good the theme was. All right, there's another uh, new thing for this year. Over here to my right, they've got this uh, pretty much like a Build-A-Bear knockoff kind of thing, calling it Animal Land, where you come in and stuff your uh, stuff your own stuffed animal. Also, this is kind of neat. This is one of the original cars of the old Lost Coaster. Uh, the, uh, the, just the old Superstition Mountain attraction, that's one of the older, old cars for it. Now we're getting here to uh, Coaster Alley, where you pretty much have intertwined the Tigger, the Cornball Express, which you can board right up these stairs here. And there's the station. And the Hoosier Hurricane, they're all pretty much intertwined with each other. Let me tell you, Cornball Express is a really good ride. I mean, I don't know how the guys at CCI, how they managed to put this in there, but man, they did a great job. That thing's got some wicked airtime, and I, I, I really enjoy that ride quite a bit. Now I'm going to show you something that you will see not at most parks. There's something very unique about the Tigger. In there, there are absolutely no restraints. It is a restraintless coaster. I don't know how... I'm guessing this park probably doesn't have any lawyers or anything to that extent, but they have no restraints whatsoever. This is what I'm probably going to end the show with. Showing you this amazing feat of... how the park did not get sued yet, I do not know. You got a helix for cornball up there. It's going to come by in a minute. You see the dueling lift. That one there is for the Hoosier Hurricane. And that one there is for the cornball. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the same ride as the, as the Nightmare at Great Escape. But, uh, decent ride. Look, here we are. No restraint. All right, folks. That'll pretty much conclude this episode of the Walk in the Park podcast. We will see you next week. Well, in case you couldn't tell, we're still at Indiana Beach. And instead of a walk in the park, we're going for a sky ride in the park. One of the newer attractions here is the Splash Battle, of course. Now, I really don't think this is a great use of the Splash Battle technology. I mean, there's so many better, better ways that I've seen it used. I mean, look at... Uh, I know one of the parks in Europe somewhere, they have a Spongebob theme one, and it's just awesome. That's a, that's a cool one. The one that comes into Dollywood in 08 looks like it's a really awesome ride. And this is good news. Looks like they're getting ready to open or test the Lost Coaster of Superstition Mountain, which is a, which is a really unique ride for this park or any park. It's really one of a kind. Oh, sweet gets her on.
This is awesome. This is probably my second favorite ride at the park behind uh, Cornwall. One of the most unique rides you'll find anywhere. See, what they did a number of years ago was like a slow-paced electronic dark ride. They ripped that out. Actually, you could see the track right there from the old dark ride. And they had uh, CCI at the time, now Gravity Group, come in and just put a coaster right on top and run through it. It's, it's a wild, wild, one-of-a-kind experience. Of course, you see uh, my least favorite rides anywhere, the Sky Coaster. Not cool. And uh, the pirate ship there is part of the, one of the new attractions this year, is a pirate-themed water stunt show. And uh, it's, a co <laughs> it's a pretty much a complete rip-off of the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean craze, being a huge, huge Pirates of the Caribbean ride and movie franchise like I am. It's a, it's a little bit offensive. I mean, they, they even rip off the soundtrack music and everything. The whole dun 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 I mean, they, they completely ripped it off. They make comments about Aztec gold, which is, of course, the uh, big plot line in the first movie. And just, uh, not, not cool. Anyway, this huge building over here is the one I brought up in the last show, and that's the, uh, the haunted house, the walkthrough, and it's, I, I'm gonna say it again, a very cool ride. Now, I like how this park has, they put, they have a boardwalk, and then they put their rides over the water like this. These two rides here. I know the Sky Ride back there is like that. And the Air Crow, which is on the other side of the coasters, is like that as well. And, I mean, this park is so intertwined. Like, right here you have your, the Galaxy Coaster, which is a fun ride. It's one with, uh, three tube slides. That's pretty neat. Too bad the Sea Dragon isn't going, you get some really cool, oh it is, when it's going, it doesn't get, it gets pretty close to the, uh, the Sky Ride when it's going at full blast. See the lift for, uh, Corn Balls going up over there. There's the castle again. You actually come out that door at the top there, you actually, not the one with the guy on it, but the one on top, you actually come out in the middle of the ride. See, there we go. It just gives you a good sense of just how intertwined everything is here at the park. This is the building over here for the uh, Dead and Lost Thieves. You can actually get to get a look at some of the theming from up top. You know, when they uh, built these themed elements, I don't really think they were made for uh, sky ride viewing. And of course, here's the uh, former spot of chaos, which is now home to a large pit. I figured this would be a different kind of show. Uh, pretty, pretty neat. I don't have to walk, and hopefully the camera will be a little bit steadier. The water park was pretty packed today. I mean, you can see, look at the huge one this uh, body slide test. And of course, the beach here at Indiana Beach. And this gives you an idea of, uh, if you look close, that's where they put the new Dino Island 2 and 3D simulator. Don't forget, send your answers to what is the cheesiest, corniest simulator of all time to patman007 at AOL.com. And be sure, if just any feedback about the show, I love talking to listeners, viewers, whatever I like to call you. Uh, but yeah, send anything you got, like, Pat, you should come here and check out this, that episode stunk, what the hell were you thinking, anything. Alright. See, look at, it's just cool how they, how they do everything here. Really, uh, a one-of-a-kind park in Indiana Beach. Alright, you got, a uh, not too much going on here where a lot of the games and food and stuff is. Alright, I'm going to go and try and get some video on the uh, Den of Lost Thieves dark ride for you. That'll, that'll be kind of neat. Hopefully they'll let me on with the camera. If not, then expect the next show to come from somewhere else. And by now I should be all moved into my new apartment and then I'm going to head back to New York, go back there for about a month. And I start my new job September 17th. Mark it on your calendars. I'll walk in the park, Pat starts his new job. Anyway, that'll about do it for this episode as we're going to come in for our landing here on the Skyride. We will see you next week at the park.